Hello everybody, you are watching A Moment in History. I'm Alice Ertel, and today we are standing in Gorski's Food Store, which just started their final sale to close out their store. And since Gorski's has been such an important part of history here in Roselle, we thought it might be interesting for you all to get a little more history of what's gone on since the area has grown so much since it was originally built. So I have with me today here Andy Gorski, and he's going to inform us on some of the changes over the years and some of the important history of Gorski's. Thought you might all enjoy this because I'm sure most of you have shopped here and would like to know what's going on. So I am welcome, Andy. It's nice to have you here today. Nice to be here. Or nice for me to be here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, we want you to share with us uh, what's been going on, and uh, why don't you start at the beginning as much as you know. Well, my father and mother started the business in 1957. They uh, moved to Roselle and bought Harv's Food Mart, which was on across the street on 30 East Irving Park Road. Uh, it was a very small store, around 3,000 square feet. Uh, the business, uh, we had customers as far away as uh, South Barrington, as far uh, west as, uh, as uh, South Elgin and Bartlett, and as far uh, south as uh, Glendale Heights. Uh, obviously there was not very much competition around, <laughs> although uh, the reason that Harv Giesecke, who originally owned Harv's Food Mart, sold was he had heard a store, a grocery store, Jewel, was moving into Hoffman Estates. Uh, and because that was in our shopping area, he wanted to sell out, and my father bought the store. Since then, uh, when we bought the store in uh, Roselle, uh, there was really four stores in Roselle. There was uh, Botterman's, there was French, uh, on Main Street, and there was also Pickwick was here. Uh, after a while, our, our store grew, and the business grew, and the population around grew, and, and my uh, father decided that uh, after 10 years, it was time to get a bigger store. So uh, when we built our new store here, and this was in 1967, uh, we built, uh, the store was uh, 12,000 square feet and with a 5,000 square foot basement and it was really state of the art I think, in those days. We've got some old circulars of those days when we first opened up and uh, the prices were really very low and uh, eight pack of uh, Pepsi or actually it was a six pack in those days was 69 cents. Mm -hmm. uh, but going on to our store history, uh, the, uh, when we decided to build the store, my father sold the business to uh, my brothers and my sister. Uh, my brother Julian Gorski, my brother Joseph Gorski, and my sister Joan Nolte. Uh, and so we started uh, in the grocery business in those days. Uh, so he kind of like grew his own help. Yes, he did, and it was very important. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, uh, one of the reasons, besides the store growing old and being outdated, is that none of our children, my brothers or my sister, wanted to be in the business. And in a family business, you have to have the mm -hmm. children come up and, mm -hmm. and, do, the, and do the work. Mm -hmm. and then we got to the point roughly about 19... Uh, 1979, 1978-79, where we decided that uh, we were all older and all of us could not be in one store, so we expanded to <laughs> and built another store in Bartlett. Uh, we started there with just uh, the food store itself uh, in the, on the corner of Main Street and Devon. Mm -hmm. And we built a really a large store, about 30,000 square feet, uh, which was a very nice size mm -hmm. in those days. And that store did well until we uh, sold it in 1992, and we all decided to come back to Roselle. And we thought we'd just work here a couple years and, until we decided what else we'd, uh, we would do. Well, we stayed eight years until uh, we got to this point, and it's, it's time for us to give it up. Well, so then are you all retiring? Is that what's happening? No, I think, uh, you know, right now we all work seven days a week. Uh, we do not get any vacations. We haven't had vacations roughly for about eight years. And uh, so I think the first thing we're going to do is take a little time off and 
and relax. And and I have one grandchild that uh, I did not spend much time with my children. I'm going to spend a lot of time <laughs> with my grandchild. <laughs> Make up for it. Spoil that one, huh? Exactly. Oh, she's going to be very spoiled. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's very interesting. But now tell us. Um, that you also had a lot of competition that came into Bartlett too that with, with that other store. Yes, we did. Uh, our business grew very uh, very nicely for about two years and then Jewel moved in uh, to Bartlett and that, and that held us back a little bit. And uh, the same thing with Roselle as obviously the, the Schomburg area was one of the fastest growing areas for the last 20, 20 years. And, uh, and obviously as the more population came around, more grocery stores came around. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, roughly it would have to be about 19, 1965, roughly in that area, the Jewel uh, came into Roselle. Uh, but uh, Pickwick was very good, and we were very good, and Jewel was right in the middle. So uh, Jewel. Do, do, never, do you never take got credit? Do you take credit for getting rid of the Jewel out of Roselle? No, I, I would like to take credit, <laughs> but I, I think it was a joint effort between Pickwick and us. Oh. We we were both uh, local uh, independent stores, and uh, with Jewel right in the middle, yeah. uh, we gave him a hard time. Well, that, that, that's great because you know it's it's unusual for the little guy to win in a situation like that against a big corporate, you know, yes, business yes, like that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Now tell me, the two elderly ladies that worked here for so many, many years, one was your mother. One was my mother, and the other is my Aunt Helen, mm -hmm. Helen Malak. And they worked here for years and years, boy, combined. I mean, how old were they when they finally well, stopped actually, working? Well, my Aunt Helen opened a store up this morning. Uh, <laughs> so she's still working, and uh, I'm trying to think of her age right now. I believe she is 89. Uh, so she's, but she's still active and, yeah. and does the work. And always seemed like a nice lady. Oh, she's very nice. What is the what is the future hold for the land here for the building, the physical building? Well, the building is uh, right now. We have built a condominium with uh, with the Janky Construction Company and uh, with partnership with them. And we're going to build next year. We'll build another uh, condominium exactly like that we have on the west side in our parking lot. The third phase will be an apartment and commercial uh, along Bokelman. Uh, this will be an 80 unit uh, rental unit with about 12,000 commercial uh, on the first floor. Okay, so you guys will all be owners of that then? We'll be owners of the third phase. Uh, the second phase, they're condominiums and, and they're being sold off. I see. Okay, well, then it sounds like you're you're still um, going to be have some roots here in Roselle. Oh yes, I I love Roselle and I I live in Roselle and I'm going to stay in Roselle. Okay, that's good to hear. You know, all the years that you guys have been here and been reliable and everything, and so we thank you for joining us today and helping the people of Roselle learn a little bit more about Gorski's and what's happening in the future to this land. That's uh, real in the heart of Roselle here and uh, always been a valuable spot. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future. And we appreciate your time spent with us. Thank you very much, Andy. And you have been listening to A Moment in History, and I'm Alice Ertel.